Good evening. Well, normally you guys know how it goes. A Wang is too. You can tie, talk about philosophy, psychology, idea, ideology. All the things that can change the way you perceive the world, the way you perceive society, and the way you see yourself. But not today. It's not because I didn't prepare, okay? It's because I feel like Maybe I should tell you guys a story. A story about my own. Something that happened to me last month, last week, last night. <laughs> Let me tell you about this first. I just came back to Singapore two days ago. And I landed in Changi Airport, terminal one, my favorite terminal, because that's the only terminal that I go. And I was so happy, I finally got to see my girlfriend. So I was waiting at the back, the, the luggage area. So I was waiting there. One by one, people just take their bag and go, go. Until the last bag was taken. I still standing there for five and for one hour. Which is still quite long. And then, so I was like, there's something wrong for sure. I went up, asked them what is going on. And they look at me. Now, give me a second, sir. Can I have your passport? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, your bag is in China. <laughs> I was like, China? Where? They're like, Xiamen. I was like, how could you miss understand Xiamen and Singapore? It's not like Xingmen and Singapore. <laughs> and then I was like, what? So like oh so what so uh, I trust you guys I I have been using this airline for a long time so they were like don't worry we send you back as soon as possible tonight or even tomorrow now it's been two days they haven't sent me anything <laughs> so that explains why I'm wearing white t-shirt and like your jean like uh, I haven't shared for like two days I haven't washed my face actually like everything is inside the bag but then okay just a little problem. They have to move on. Last week, I went back Laos for two days, three days, to see my mom because she said she missed me. And well, I have three day holiday, so I went back. And sadly, the first night that I was there, in the morning we, we found that someone broke into our house and stole our money and my mom's favorite ring. She was terrified. She was scared. I was sad. So normally what people do is, it's okay. You know what? At least they didn't hurt you. At least they only take the money. That what people say. That what the psychologist would say. To see things in a positive way. What well, does this really work? So I just sit there next to her and do nothing. I told her it's okay to feel sad. One day later, I have to come back. Still keep calling her every day. Well, that's not a big problem. Last month, I have a good friend of mine who know we know each other for two years since I come to Singapore. We have been stay together in the same house, the same room. We pee in the same toilet. That's how close we are, right? And what happened is he have holiday. You all they have holiday, right? Three months, which is really long. So he went back. He said, dude, don't worry, you know what? I probably buy someone, someone to replace me. Uh, I just transfer you the money because it's only three months left before the contract ends. I'm like, sure, man, don't worry, just take care. What at me or anything. One month go past. So I asked him for the, the rent. He said, thousand per month. He paid me thousand, blah, 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 I paid the, the landlord. Whatever he said, you cannot pay. I said, it's the same, it's okay. You take care, you take care. If you cannot pay, it's okay, I understand. I can help you pay first, and you pay me later. Like this. That's what a good friend would do. I know him for two years. And two months have passed. So this time I asked him again. So dude, you can pay me 2,000, right? I'm quite happy you're gonna get 2,000, right? He said, dude, I cannot. My family have money issue. Money issue. It's okay, it's okay. You take care, bro, you take care. Just let me know if you need help. So I talked to my parents. My parents are the same. It's 
go to take care of the baby. And I did. And now this is the last month of the contract. He decided to tell me, actually, he didn't decide to tell me anything. I want to him, and it turned out he broke me. I Facebook him. I was like, oh, there's some, some, probably something wrong with his phone. So I Facebook him, and he broke me. And then I'm a big fan of Instagram. I talk about Instagram generations. I check every day how many followers they have, you know. And then I know if someone unfollowed me, okay? <laughs> so one day I woke up. <laughs> I woke up, oh, and then ever. one follower gone. So I, ooh, who just unfollowed me. So I check. It's my friend just unfollowed me. Moreover, he brought me. So I was sad, disappointed, but that's nothing else I can do. So I, at the end, though, he discontracted me. But this time, I didn't talk to him. I talked to his dad. His dad kept talking about lawfully. My son didn't sign any contract. You're the one who signed. So you're the one who take responsibility. And I told him, yes, you're right. But what are you doing right here and right now? Is this the right thing to do? I signed a contract because we are friends. And there's only need one person to sign a contract. And he wasn't old enough to sign a contract. So I did everything that a friend would do. So that's a story. It's not a big problem. I'm still smiling. I'm still living life. As you guys know, I talk about never giving up. Fail, get up, never give up. Look up. Suffer. Because that's going to make you stronger. But does it really that way? I come to these conclusions. I'm sorry, guys. This is a story. I just come to these conclusions. Suffering doesn't mean you are moving forward. So suffer to the happy side. You know what you suffer for. <laughs>